All right, welcome back. With the start of the new year comes a new wave of respiratory illnesses, the so-called triple-demic. As DC News Now's anchor Chris Flanagan spoke with Dr. Yolanda Hancock, a pediatrician from Prince George's County, about how you can tell the difference between flu, COVID, and RSV. Their conversation isn't what's going around. Dr. Hancock, it's the season. A lot is going around. How do you know if your child has either COVID, flu, or RSV? That's an excellent question and one I get asked very often. The good news in terms of numbers is that we're seeing RSV cases uh, starting to come down. I think based on national data and data around the DMV, we reached a peak for RSV uh, right after Thanksgiving. But it's important to be able to differentiate between the three because it determines what we do. When we think about both flu and COVID, usually starting off with a little bit of achiness, Sometimes, uh, particularly with flu associated with fever, with COVID, you may or may not have fever. What I have frequently seen with my patients with COVID is a complaint of a very bad sore throat, almost as if their throat is on fire. Dr. Hancock, are the symptoms the same for children as they are for adults uh, when it comes to flu, COVID, and RSV? With COVID and flu, for the most part, the symptoms are similar. With COVID, symptoms in the pediatric population historically have, a little, have been a little bit milder than for adults, but with flu, the younger the patient, the more severe the symptoms can be, simply because their airway is much smaller than grown-ups, and that's the reason why we have to pay close attention, particularly when little ones have flu. Dr. Hancock, how is this winter stacking up to previous years when it comes to severe illnesses? Flu, it's interesting, the season has uh, started a lot later. So we're seeing cases actually starting to rise right now. Usually we start to see things taper down, but across the DMV and across the country, we're seeing our numbers uh, significantly increasing. With COVID, here in the DMV, the numbers look pretty good uh, compared to last year back in 2023, both in terms of cases, although it's hard to quantify because a lot of people either don't test or get tested at home. But when we look at hospitalizations, the numbers are really reassuring. It doesn't mean that we don't prevent ourselves from getting COVID. We still mask up, we still vax up in order to maintain um, what we're seeing now. But what we are keeping an eye on is an increase in the number of cases of COVID across the country, particularly coming out of the holidays. Dr. Hancock, terrific information as always. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.